Mmm. Guess how much this bottle of soda water cost me. Take a guess. How much do you think this cost? I'll take a guess too. Hmm. I'm going to say a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars for this bottle of soda water. What do you think? Well, I have the receipt here in my pocket. Let's see, how much did this cost? What? 30 cents? 30 cents? I wasn't even in the ballpark. I wasn't even in the ballpark. Do you know what that means? In the ballpark is an idiom, and it's one of the idioms in my latest book, 101 Advanced Idioms. Hey, I have the book right here on my phone. Check it out. Have you downloaded my idioms book on your phone? It's so awesome. You can just learn idioms anywhere you go. I mean, so many. You have 101 idioms. You can just read idioms, you know, if you're sitting on the bus or if you're sitting on the can. We all use our phones when we're sitting on the can, right? Do you know what that means? Sitting on the can? That means using the bathroom. We all use our phones when we use the bathroom. So if you're sitting on the can, you can just pull out your phone and uh, take a look at one or two idioms. You know, it's just a really easy book. It's really simple. Just read one page, learn one idiom, take a look at a few examples, maybe read my notes. Here, let me find uh, in the ballpark. Okay, here we go. In the ballpark, let's take a look. It means within the general range. Close, but not exact. Okay, it's a number usually. Uh, if, if a number is close, but not exact, then we say it's in the ballpark. It's in the ballpark, within the general range. Let's take a look at some examples. Okay, this yellow part here, those are the examples. The green color, that's the definition, and the, the pinkish color, that's the idiom, and then the purple color is my notes. Okay, so let's look at the yellow section uh, where the examples are. I can't remember how much my shoes cost, but they were in the ballpark of $100. They were in the ballpark of $100. That means they could have been $95, they could have been $107, you know, something close. To 100, not exactly, but something close to 100. Um, not 200. 200 would be out of the ballpark. That's that's not in the ballpark. Okay, so let's take a look at the second example. Tina thought there were more than a thousand countries in the world. She wasn't even in the ballpark. She wasn't even in the ballpark. A thousand countries? There are only like 200 countries in the world, right? There are about 200 countries. So a thousand. That's, that's not even in the ballpark. Okay, let's take a look at the third example. I won't sell my car unless someone's offer is in the ballpark. Imagine you're selling your car for $1,000 and I offer you like $200 or $500 for your car. I need to offer you maybe eight or $900 for it to be considered in the ballpark. In the ballpark, right? So let's take a look at my notes here. In English, there are many idioms related to baseball. That's true, there are a lot of idioms, a lot of baseball idioms. It would be a good idea to watch baseball with someone who understands the sport and can explain everything to you. Okay? If you are new to Canada or the US, um, you, know, you probably don't know much about, about North American sports like ice hockey, uh, American football, or baseball. Well, in English, we have so many idioms that are related to sports. Okay, I'm not sure how many sports idioms there are in this book. I know there are some sports idioms in this book here, um, but in the future, I think I'll make a lesson just on baseball idioms. There are a lot of baseball idioms. So, like I said, if you're new to Canada or the US, I think you should watch uh, North American sports with someone who understands the sport so you can ask them questions. What does that mean? What's a ballpark? What's a ballpark? If you were to ask me, what's a ballpark? I would tell you it's a baseball stadium. Okay, a ballpark is a baseball stadium. So if something is within the ballpark, that means it's close. If something is out of the ballpark, you know, that means it's, it's not even close. It's not even close. Okay, so that's what that idiom means. 
in the ballpark. Hey, I hope you guys are finding my book useful. Like I said, it's really nice just to have it on your phone or your your tablet or your computer. So I just want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has bought my book on my website. I'll put the link to my book right down there in the description. Hey, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a wonderful day and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.